What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Inked Full coming at you with uh, my first official attempt to try to build something on YouTube. Uh, I do have past content that you can go back and look at. It's nothing special in my opinion. It's kind of scuffed content, but this year will definitely be something that I'm pressing very hard for and recording focused, and it won't be like past streams or anything you know crazy like that. Um, I would just like to forewarn you before you you know, get into this video and feel like you've been fooled or something. I am not good at the game by any shape of the imagination. Um, I will currently be playing on normal difficulty and I plan on progressing my skill in the game as I record YouTube, uh, content for YouTube because it's, I really enjoy this game. Um, but I feel like I'm on the verge of getting from like normal to hard difficulty and then, you know, whatever happens from there on out, obviously, would you know, we'll see. Um, however, I'm not good enough yet, to, per se. So, other than that, if you have any suggestions, I'm going to try to, like, record 30-minute videos. I'll, okay, the game plan here is I'm going to record 30-minute videos with uh, Gong Son Zan, the Iron Fist General. Uh, by the way, his cavalry is uh, really good. Um, okay, so the game plan here is we're going to record 30-minute videos. I'm going to upload them the same day that I record them. So today is Monday, the, the 14th of de uh, December. So I plan on uploading this video today once I get done. Make any quick snippet cuts that I have to make. Hopefully it doesn't take long. Um, and let the video go throughout tomorrow. Um... And I can either, you know, pre-record if I want for Wednesday, Wednesday's upload, or I can just wait till Wednesday and do it. Um, or I can, like, record two episodes, depending on if there's even any feedback from the first video, which I, I don't think, I don't think there will be, but we'll see. Um, the reason why I want to do this is because <clears throat> I feel like there's not a lot of content or up-to-date content on Three Kingdoms, and I really think that Three Kingdoms is a good game and has its flaws, yes. Um, however, I do enjoy the game quite significantly with all its flaws attached. And I feel like somebody, I, I don't see a lot of dedicated people to Three Kingdoms. And I can see why, but I also think it has its, it, it has its pluses and it has its minuses just like every other game. And this is definitely the game that I want to invest my time into with YouTube and etc. Uh, I plan on buying all the DLCs and going through everything. Right now, this, I'm kind of broke, so it's not a high priority. Um, but other than that, less talking. Let's get into the game. Gong Sun Zan, the Iron Fist General. He is a military-focused... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A military-focused champion or a character. Um, you want to focus on, you know, obviously building, you know, like your military government stuff. Uh, that's your play style is very military oriented. Um, Gong Sun Zan, based off of what I've played in the past, he is definitely a very, he's very good of cavalry. So I always, always stick in with cavalry, no matter what. Um, indecisive. I actually did not realize that. He's determined. He's a vanguard. He is not good at dueling other generals, by the way, and I know that I, it's right there where my fucking cursor is, but I swear to God, like, I knew that before, beforehand, and I just wanted to mention that. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just, uh, hop into it, shall we? Luoyang,一片火海 
忠于汉帝的将军们立即做出回应，出兵镇压黄巾军。虽获全胜，乱局如故。如今洛阳烧焚残破，皆董贼残暴所致。董卓狼戾无度，可谓凶虐残暴。董贼此行劫迁天子，欲以挟持汉家天下。必须追讨此贼，不能再放任其。祸害天下。不过主公，依在下之见，眼下的燃眉之急，便是要先处理掉刘虞。若是此人治理不了自己的领土，那就由我代劳吧。联军即将瓦解，诸侯各怀意志，吾辈需速速挽救危局。我为汉家。抵御外患已久，如今该清清这内忧了。公孙大人，您麾下战马嘶鸣，铁骑呼号，该让他们冲锋陷阵了。Okay, with that being said, what an inter dude. I always love the entrance, like to everything. I've always found it very interesting. Okay, with that being said, what an inter dude. I always love the entrance, like to everything. I've always found it very interesting. So if you haven't noticed already, I'm obviously playing on the Chinese like dialect version where they speak in Chinese and I have the audio and uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the, the subtitles with English. Um, I prefer that personally. It really helps with like the immersion or whatever because it's actually in China. Um, so if you got, hopefully you guys will be okay with that. If you're not just, if there's a bunch of people that would prefer it another way, I might switch it um, depending on how their reasoning behind it or whatever. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the game here. Oh, and just, or hold on, I'll wait till after this. Or I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, establishing your power. Lord Gong Sun Zan. China is in chaos, but so far from the, so far from the capital. There is little you can do to quail the madness. Perhaps it is time to utilize your local strength as a respected border lord. Liu? Your old mentor has lost his vigor and his lands may be better managed by you. Like, likewise, Gong Sun Du is kin, but the borders cannot be held by a weak lord. You must consider how your presence and power may aid all of China. Claim the Han Empire regions and be wary of Li Yu and Gong Sun do gong soon do is your i'm pretty sure he's your brother to my recollection war awaits and gong sun zan meets it the empire is ending lo yang burns and the tyrants run amok long have you held the borders for the han but chaos is rising and with it opportunity the chance to make a name for yourself the han is in the tyrant script now you must defend yourself against any foe even the empire so i gotta engage uh zao zao kian zao chan zao chan that sounds about right zao chan and then we're gonna take uh I, I, I again i do apologize if i mispronunciate any of the chinese words ahead of time i know some people get upset about that and i do apologize i think my pronunciation of gong sun zan zun zan yeah chan is it gong sun zan uh, it's relatively correct. I think I looked it up because I played him the most out of anybody. I don't know why. I just like him. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get our ancillaries. I got a eunuch and a farmer. Plus four resolve. Plus 20% food production. I actually kind of like that. I definitely need... Uh, I had an issue the last time I played Gong Sun uh, with... Why in God's name? What? Uh, why is... Oh, okay. It didn't pop up. Thank God. Sorry, I my uh, Steam overlay thing popped up, and it I was like, wait, oh god, it's gonna, hopefully it didn't show on the on the recording, and it didn't. Um, what is the point of using this? Why the fuck would you want to use minus ten satisfaction? Yeah. Uh, okay, I apologize for that. My mother called me in the middle of this recording, and just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Obviously. Um, 
there won't be I'll be sure to cut out the part where where you know I, my mic goes quiet or whatever um, okay so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the game I'm really wasting some time here um, okay so we got some I got a decent ancillary I like the farmer definitely want to utilize the farmer um, by the way guys uh, I forgot to show you guys before I started um, this is what I have. It's on normal. I'm a trash player. I will admit it straight up. I'm not that good at the game yet, but with recording for YouTube, hopefully I can get better and we can bump this bad boy up all the way to freaking very hard. With that being said, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this um, and engage with this guy um i personally not a big fan of doing these battles but i'll do it just for the sake of you know not losing my troops the majority of youtubers do it Gong Sun Zan will be the savior of China, boys. He will be the savior. All right, so this is relatively easy. There's honestly like no reason why I should like you know sweat this out or whatever. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put oh. I'm just going to put uh, this cav, obviously, to the right and the left, because I want them to come in and flank. Um, and I, I, I do, I'm going to try to kill as much shit as I can, obviously. Okay, these guys can't go into the loose. I should be able to kill this general with my main general. You know what? I'd rather just be safe. Um, we're going to go and see if he wants to duel. Zhao Yun should be able to beat him. Yeah, he's got he's got the flames of the phoenix. Okay, let's go ahead and uh Come on. Why why wouldn't it okay. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and move these boys up. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to win this without a doubt, honestly. All right, so we are going to send uh, these boys here. We're going to put the bows on the bows. Okay, we have emerged victorious, so we're gonna go ahead and run down. We're gonna run this shit down, boys. Okay. <clears throat> oh, damn, he's already in there. All right, they're routing already. So I'm going to go ahead and chase these down so I don't have to play the next turn. Uh, preferably. Yeah, I would prefer to preferably not play the next turn. Hey, did he not get on his horse? I'm going to go over here and help these guys. I just want to kill everything that's routing, honestly. I don't want to let any of this shit away. Okay. 
Yo, can I kill that? Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Uh, run down the rest of these units here. Um, honestly, like you just, you might as well stay, bud. Okay, go run these guys down. Okay, we're running them down. Got our general on them. Where is this horse? The hell? Oh, you never went and got it, lol. Uh, nine of them are gonna escape. Damn, son. Let's go over here and get these guys. Make sure they don't get out. And that should be good. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ten units got out. Wow. I absolutely, like, obliterated. That guy doesn't have a single fucking archer left. Good. Good. Okay, so I could probably send this next one, to be honest. Oh, he retreated. I didn't even get to kill him. I lost five units. Let's see. What do we get from executing him? Um, nothing of value. I mean, do I want any... He doesn't have any friends, so... Honestly, what's the play here? What's the smartest play? Obviously, I don't want Xiaoqian... Xiaoqian? In my... Uh, what do you call it? In my court. This is not... Uh, he doesn't seem like he's that bad... Minus 25% fatigue rate. Well, but I'm not a fan of bringing in outsiders that I beat the shit out of because I just feel like they're likely to betray you or some shit. Uh, he doesn't have anything of value. So, I mean, we the best, honestly, the best hit thing here is just take the fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, we're pretty good on military supplies here. So, we might as well just take the, we might as well ransom. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Did he... What? War awaits, and Gong Sun Zan meets it. Reward taste of victory, plus 30 military supplies, and plus 5 morale for 3 turns. So we completed that mission. Alright, what do we got here? Gong Sun Zan solidifies his control. If you're to continue defending the land and your legacy, they must be secured. Nearby, the iron mines will bolster your endeavors. We should seize them and use them to grow stronger in our fight against tyranny so we got to capture uh ganyang this province right here glorious victory okay that's from plus uh oh, never mind we got some ancillaries oh a silver battle axe nice honestly i think we can give that to uh what's our our expertise guy i can't remember his name uh, okay, so we already we saw these two. Um, with that being said, killed him. Bat he died in battle. I didn't. I didn't kill him though. He escaped. How did he die? Ah, okay. Uh, anything important here? No. Glorious victory. I already saw that. So let's go ahead and get in here. Uh, do I want to delegate this? I kind of do. Like I really don't want to play it. Oh god, please don't make me regret it. Okay, 73 is not that bad. Um, Now, see, this is where, like, okay, so I'm like a military guy, right? I mean, the loot is nice. But minus 10 faction support, I'm not a fan of, personally. Like, it, I, the biggest struggle I had is food up here. Okay, so Gong Sun Zun solidifies his control. Support of the people. Plus 5 public order and plus 25 faction support for 3 turns. Alright, our next mission is just to construct or upgrade something in our major city. So let's see, what kind of income is industry? So this builds, I mean, sorry, this brings in industry. Um, okay, so what's his name? There's a guy over here. Where is he? There's a guy over in this general, general, this general area that I do not want to fuck with because last time I played, I had a big issue where I got fucking cucked. 
I was at war with basically fucking everybody. I know I'm gonna have to go to war with Gong Sun Do and Liu. And it's gonna be a pain in the fucking ass. But, uh, okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna send our our boys back over here. I know I, I'm gonna go up here next and take this fucking trade port. Okay, so this gives us commerce, right? Uh, fuck, what is trade port? Is trade port commerce? I think it is. Okay, so we'll, you know what? We'll hold this building for now, but obviously we need to get an industry building. Which is looking like... Which one gives you the bonuses? Or the percentage bonuses? Percentage bonuses, in my opinion, are always better. Plus 40% income from... You know, honestly, I know I'm going to have commerce and industry. And I feel like this is the, the private workshop is the one. But why can't I build it? Why can't I build a private workshop? Let's take a, let's take a gander real quick. Uh, you must upgrade my settlement to a small city, which will be not the next upgrade. Okay. Uh, what can I build? It's got to be a small city too. Um, fuck, dude. I mean, I guess I can temporarily... How long? How many turns is this going to take? Four turns to complete that mission alone. I mean, I guess we could do it. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just upgrade this because I don't want to build. Because my first two buildings I want to build is the workshop and the military government, I think. And then I'm going to build a uh, fucking either land surveying office or government farming camp. Or uh, government support, sorry. <laughs> Land development or government support? Probably land development because it gives me food and I need food. Which one's better again? I think it's the land development one. If you guys can let me know, it would be greatly great. It gives me a maximum of five food production. I do not want to go down either one of these because I will be... No. Just it's a, it's a new... I mean, I guess. Like, what? In, what? In all seriousness, gives me more food. Food production requires resources needed to acquire. Cannot build you. Why does everything have to be a small fucking city? Grain. So if I have grain. Which is where? Rice, grain. Do I get any grain ones? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Maybe up here. No, there's a lumberyard up here. Uh, fuck me, dude. So probably land development is going to be the best thing for now at least. Because I want food. I do not want to run into food problems. Because that's what I ran into the last time that I played this. Okay, with that being said, actually, let's hold on a second. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I gotta wait till next turn. I mean, what does the Chancellor do again? Peasantry income? Yeah, I don't really care about peasantry. What does this do? Oh, minus 30 plus 25 percent increase to uh industry and in income we'll build we'll have an industrial inspector i'm gonna make zalyon the the man in charge of that we'll at least have that uh it'll help with building shit obviously let's see does it did it help oh, no not really Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, send this turn. That's all I really needed. I don't want to, like, fill up my my cabinet or whatever you want to call it, obviously. Just yet, I want to slowly do it and not get, you know, too out of control with it or whatever. Okay, so we're making 1,200 
uh, uh, fucking gold, I guess. I'll, I call it gold. I don't know what you guys call it. Honestly, let me know. Let me know what you call it. I'm actually curious. Okay, so we can upgrade our... What's it called? Our iron mine. Ooh. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. And... Ooh, maybe not... Sorry, I'm just like trying to scheme all this shit out in my head. Okay, so these guys are very like expensive per turn, as you can see. So, like, as much as I l like them, I don't really like them at the same time. Good in melee. Handpicked by Gunsun Zun. These elite cavalry archers ride white horses and harass enemies while remaining out of reach. I mean, that is true. Hold on, how do I look at this shit again? Immune to scare. I mean, holy shit, these actually are really fucking good. Attrition immunity. Holy shit, bro. Yo, their melee is like actually not... Their melee powers, like what? They're just as good as G Militia, basically. What the fuck, dude? I'd never realized that before. Holy shit. Okay, so I'll probably build... I'll have two of these guys, and then I'll have, like, uh, fucking regular archers. So, the goal with Gong Soon, his, um... What do you call this? Like, his, uh... What's... His army will be... Four may or four uh sh shot cavalry melee cavalry so we'll have two uh mounted lancer militias and two raiders because i i do want two raiders to deal with like armor and shit you know um and these guys will be more about you know trying to get towards the archers basically they'll they'll come in behind the raiders so they take a little bit less damage hopefully I don't really give a shit about these guys, to be 100% real with you. They're useless to me, honestly, if I'm being real with you. Uh, I've never liked them or cared for them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get one of these bad boys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get four cavalry. Um, or we might go ahead and max this shit out and get it done. I just want to make sure that I'm good with at least one of my guys. Um, okay, with that being said, do we have anything else to do? Like, I mean, realistically? No? Okay, so we got character developments, China's beds. Okay, this is nothing. Oh, did not mean to do that. Apologize. Is there like, can I just hover over it? No? So what is the development here? Like, it doesn't even really tell me. I've never actually read this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is this again? Okay, so we're upgrading. We're upgrading our city right now. So we can't. We're going to upgrade it to a small city so we can build the buildings we want. Um, and not have to uh, worry about anything else. Because I don't want to build something temporarily just to tear it down later. Like, it's just useless to me. Or it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so the goal here is we're gonna finish out building this this dude's or Gung Sun Zan's uh, his uh, fuck dude. What is it like? His unit. We're gonna f finish constructing his unit or whatever you want to call it. Um, so we're gonna get two, one more of these guys, and then we're gonna get rid of the G militia, G infantry. I'm sorry. So we won't have any ground archers, and I normally only take those guys when I have ground archers. They're very expensive, though, per turn. It'll be okay. It'll, it'll pay off in the long run. Okay, so with that being said, okay, we can't afford anything else right now. So I am pretty much done here. I can't remember if he gets any, 
if Gong Soon Zan gets any more like special type uh fucking specialty fucking cavalry but if he does i'll definitely change it but this is going to be the setup here like long term so he's pretty much good to go um oh okay so let's go ahead and go ahead and go to our character tab we're going to take a look at the details and look at the mounts okay we don't have any horses yet <sighs> okay I, if anybody wants this, I'm going give to it, give it away, without a doubt. Okay, so it says plus 20% food production, right? Okay, if anybody watches this video, I know it's my first video, but if anybody watches it, even if you don't like my content, but you like or you watched it this far, can you explain to me the percentage food production? Does it like just mean that I'm going to get more food, like food here at all? Or do I have to have like fucking peasantry uh like you know farming land or whatever you want to call it just let me know i'm gonna go ahead and equip it for now just in case i my thought was right or whatever i guess okay i'm sorry i was just making sure nothing crazy here uh so we did get a weapon here i don't know if it's better so it has a slower attack rate but does overall more armor piercing damage and more base damage. Honestly, I feel like Okay, so his his look his his thing is expertise, right? The second is resolve. This gives you a shit ton of res Oh, this is minus 9 expertise. What? I mean, that gives me. Yeah, I feel like this. We're gonna try this out. I mean, overall, this does more damage. It's a little bit. It's four points slower, I guess. But we'll try it out. Yeah, I'm never gonna. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen, Chief. Oh, uh, is he happy? Yeah, he's happy. Okay, so we got some sour pusses over here. So we're gonna go ahead and. I'm gonna put this play pig on him because it gives him more instinct uh hopefully yeah he's like level-headed now um i like putting these guys with the uh commander uh skill or whatever you want to call it in like administrative positions so i like making them like uh f fucking uh what's it called like i don't know why i would it's just like a personal thing of mine for some reason i'm not sure why but like i i want tian he can't kai to be like my prime minister just because he's like a commander i don't i don't know it's fucking weird it's i don't know why it's just a personal visual preference in for me what is this satisfaction low why what do you what do you have to not be happy about your fearless leader is healthy and about to conquer the world okay do i want a chancer right now no i mean it costs it's gonna be 200 more i can't afford that right now okay so that's pretty much it so we're gonna go ahead and skip our turn holy shit i've already been streaming or recording for 35 minutes so i'm gonna record to about the 45 minute mark and then we're gonna cut it short so i'll have time to attack the trade port more likely and then we'll call it there and uh, i might make the next videos a little bit longer like 45 to 50 minutes we shall see um i'm gonna go ahead and move this guy over here i'm gonna wait a turn because i just want to make sure that these guys are good i think one more turn i'll be i'll have enough to get the job done um and we eventually guanjing we eventually plan on bringing him into the mix because i love having a strategist Honestly, this is the perfect uh, a Vanguard, a Sentinel, and a Strategist. I love this combination personally. It's either that or the Resolve one. Uh, whatever. I can't remember what they're called. They're really good at fighting generals, I think. But I really like those guys too. Okay, so here, I, since you're military focused, in my opinion, you definitely want to go down this branch first. You want to... Uh, 
wait, this is not what I was expecting. What did I do last time? So basically what I did is I took most of the mustering turn ones and the replenishment. I took that. I remember that. However, taking this would be pretty nice too. And this goes into... Okay, so this is what we're going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to take Garrison uh, Conscripts and then Convict Drafts. And then we're going to take Infrastructure Shaft Mining, basically. Or... Sorry, I'm just looking at this. Okay, never mind. We're going to go down this path right here, and I want to get to here. Minus two mustering turns. And it helps me get the administration building, I think, that I need as well. Uh, this also gives me more military supplies, and it gives me the oil and towers and bullshit. I don't really use those too often. Or I've never seen where they have actually benefited me or whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to retainer armies. And then I'm going to take shaft mining. And then we're going to come back down to... Who the fuck is the one I was just seeing, man? Okay, we're gonna okay, we're gonna get we're gonna go to retainer armies, shaft mining, uh I don't even know how to fucking say that. That thing right there. Military doctrine here I don't know. Yeah, that thing. If anybody knows how to pronounce that, let me know. But holy shit, that's a tongue twister, buddy. Okay, with that being said, that looks like pretty much everything that we need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and sim uh we're gonna go ahead and uh end our turn here. And, oh, hopefully nothing crazy happens. Oh, shit. Okay, the economy grows. The border cities transform. We just completed the construction. Okay, an army is called for. Gung Sun Zan raises it. War is a business of the age, my lord. And so... To war we must go. Yet we must field stronger forces if we are to compete. If we are to compete, is this bloody. If we are to compete in this bloody conflict, I'm pretty sure that's a mistype there. Muster more forces, then march to com combat your enemies. So we got to recruit, maintain a total of 12 units. So we just got to recruit a couple more. So, what we gonna do is... Okay, so that's our construction completed there. We got some ancillaries. Nothing too crazy. Uh, mission, that's that. Okay, we got that mission. Okay, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and just recruit a couple more... Ooh, do I want to go big dick here? No, I don't. Gian Sword Guards. I really like these guys, um, personally. Oh, by the way, I'm playing on, I think, Ultra uh, unit size. I'm not playing on the one, the biggest one. I just don't, I don't know if my computer can handle it. And I just, and I'm playing on medium graphics. I don't have that bad of a computer, just saying. Okay, so I'm going to wait, oh, six turns. Dude, that is killer. Wait. Is it, which one? Wait, I can't remember. What is it? Do I get 
replenishment quicker. Wait, why is it on March? What? Okay, so uh, why is he on March? Hello? Um, okay, so we're gonna have to hold off of that upgrade for now. Or every episode about 45 minutes. I feel like that's not too bad. Okay, he's asking for this. Okay, so I'm not gonna give Gong Sun Du uh, military access because I already know what's gonna happen here uh, relatively soon. Basically, uh, everybody probably knows, but I'm just not going to say it. If you know, then you know why I'm not going to give it to them. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody, for any newer players by chance. So, uh, yeah. An army is called for. Gong Sun Zan raises it. We gain growing might. Plus 50 experience for units per season. And plus 10 replenishment for three turns. Nice. All right, so our goal here is to hold three settlements. Um, we are about to go take this trade port because it'd be really nice uh, to have, of course. Um, iron pit upgrade. Okay, so we upgraded our mines. Nice. We got three turns, dude. Can I? I might just go. I should be able to win this. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just gonna go. I don't think he has a heat. Yeah, no, nah, this is fine. Okay, is there anything else I need to do? Can't afford a chancer yet. It's just not going to happen. It's not a priority at the moment. And we're waiting to upgrade into a small city so we can construct this properly. Which is, this actually works out, okay? Realistically, if you think about it, because I'm about to take this trade port. I can't, I'm pretty sure it gives you commerce income. Uh, so I'll know for sure if I'm going to keep this building or not. And... I'll probably build my military government. Military government is actually quite helpful, to be real. Wait, what the fuck? What's the difference here? Honestly, I might just take this one. The headquarters of military command. Yeah, it sounds cooler anyway, so honestly. I don't really give a shit about the starting rank for cavalry recruits. Because I don't plan on having too many more. Gong Sun Zan is really going to be... Well, I might have one more general that has... Which is the guy that I gave the ancillary to to keep him happy. For my second army or my second force, whatever you want to call it. Oh shit, I forgot I gotta... Okay, so that that's pretty much it here. So we're waiting to upgrade to a small city so we can... And uh, capture you... Yeah, that place. The trade port. We're, we're waiting to capture the trade port and upgrade to a small city to figure out what we're going to upgrade here. So, is there anything else? Unsatisfied people, which is no bueno. I'll probably look to get these guys uh probably relatively happy soon. 18, 18 wow. Lacks purpose. That's just the biggest deal. So once I give them some purpose, quote unquote, we'll be good. So let's go ahead and uh, end our turn. And uh after I attack the port and upgrade the city to a small city. We're probably going to end the video there. And if anybody's watching and has stayed this long, then, uh, yeah. A hero's aid. You read a, por or a report about one of your generals who beat six enemies single-handedly, largely due to the courage, speed, and loyalty of their horse. Heroes have always had something or someone to help them achieve their rightful destiny. It can be a loyal follower, a trusted steed, a book of wisdom, or a weapon of unique properties, but they all fulfill the same role. Whether it is fate or by your very own will and actions, such a thing has come into your possession, into your into your possession. The real test is figuring out how to best make use of it or them to help you achieve your goal. So what the fuck is Oh, I got yeah, I got an ancillary. I'm confused. Or okay. 
We got a wooden fish! Pog! Oh, this is where I start getting horses and shit, I think. I can't attack the city. Fucking hell, dude. Okay, so on normal difficulty, the Han Empire, after I take this place, after like a turn or two, they always send a fucking massive army, or a pretty decently sized army, up this fucking... They come out, and you'll see them sailing along here, and they'll try to come up here and attack this, but if I leave my, my army here, they won't attack it, and they'll just leave and never come back. Or they won't come back within the time that uh, you don't want them to, or whatever. Yeah, that... Yeah. Okay, so we almost have enough money to upgrade to a small city. I don't know, is this dumb? I don't think it is to upgrade a small city this quickly. Is it? Oh, well, fuck it. We'll find out. I should be fine, though, honestly. Uh, yeah, YouTube, let me know if that, it's dumb just doing what I'm doing. I don't think it is because I want to build the buildings that I need. Ah, Li Yu has declared war on us. Of course, as soon as I'm all the way over here, the fucking bastard. I don't. He doesn't attack me, so that's that's the good thing. I figured that this was coming. Li Yu declares war on Gong Su Zan. All right, so let's go ahead and take this uh, trade port here. Um, now. Yeah, they don't even have a general, okay? They have one bow militia. Or bow... Or fucking arrows. Um, is there any way, like, I can not be an idiot here and, like, do really good? And, like, now there's just... Not really. I, I feel like we could send this. Uh, we, like, way outscale these guys. I really need this not to go absolutely terrible. Okay, we only lost 83 people. That's not too bad. Um, I'm just going to occupy because I really want the faction support because I have struggled in the past with these faction support issues. And uh, I don't want to deal with it before. Again, uh, beyond the borders, Gong Sun Zan sees his future. We gained momentum. Minus 20% recruitment cost. Poggers. For three turns, sorry. All right, what's our next goal here? Send a character on an assignment. Okay, I'm not going to read this out loud because, uh, it's, I mean, is there anything? I mean, this is going to pop up multiple times. Should I read it? Nah. All right, if you want to read it, I'll leave it up for a second. Uh, it's just basically, you know, sending people out on duties to do stuff, you know, that type of shit. It's nothing like crazy. Commandery and Conqueror. With this commandery under our control... We can bring order to the chaos and discipline to the populace, and from there, victory. Man, we're getting a lot of experience. Too bad he's just kind of... Oathsworn! Oh, Zhao Yun is Oathsworn to us now. Nice. Got a Gong Sun Zan leveled up. Okay, we secured that. Mission success. Okay, we... okay we're good there. Okay, so we're going to send our army back to our main city. Oh, okay, so this gives me commerce. Okay, I was right. Okay. Wait. What? I am very confused right now, dude. Okay, so we're going to give him some purpose because he's uh, not very happy. 15 turns, he's going to be in charge of giving us plus 75%, I think it was, it said. Okay, so obviously we want to upgrade this trading, this trading port without a fucking doubt. Okay, so we're going to keep, uh, actually, let's double check here. I'm pretty sure commerce plus 50%, 75 plus 100. What does this do? What? 
Oh, this just gives you more base income. Trust me, you always, to my understanding, you always want to take the percentage income over the base. I'm pretty sure, to my recollection, percentage income is always better than the base, based off of what I've heard in the past, I think. Yeah, we're definitely going to take this one right here, I think. Income from industry is always nice. Okay. Uh, do schools bring us anything? Character experience, marketplace. Trade influence in com... Oh, dude. This might actually be better with what I'm looking for. This gives us more trade influence. And a shit ton of commerce. Holy fuck. Okay, I really don't care about the spies. I may use, like, one, if I'm being real. Okay, from Silk. I don't have any Silk up here. So, we would want to take this one. Yeah. So, we might actually... Okay, yeah. Wait, can I, like, convert it or whatever? No, I don't think so. Okay, so we're going to demolish that. We're going to send our army back to the main city. Uh, actually, let's wait until the snow's gone. And let's do... Why are people unhappy? What is going on? Just relax, man. We're going to take... Plus 10... Uh, we're taking Fury without a doubt. Plus 25 charge bonus and plus 2 morale in enemy territory while commanding. Dude, that is noise. Pretty soon we're going to get horses, and I'm really going to fucking, like, jizz all over myself and be in a row. Why are you guys so unhappy, bro? Just, like, relax, okay? I need you guys to just take a chill pill, okay? You are unnecessarily mad right now. Okay, so right now, some shit is about to go down, okay? And... Wait, so this is, that's a fishing port. So, okay. I'm thinking I want to give, make somebody, give somebody independence and make them my vassal. It'll probably be up here because this is a pain in the fucking ass to deal with up here, by the way, if you don't know that already. It is fucking annoying to deal with this shit up here. I'll probably... Wait, can I... Is this part of the expansion? Oh, wait. It's not. Wait, does it end? Wait, what? No, there's no way. No, no, no. There's no... It, pretty sure it's in all the... Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, with that being said, guys, um, I think we're going to end the episode here. I think this is a good start. It was a slow start, obviously. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please be patient. I promise you guys that as time goes, the more comfortable I get on YouTube, uh, we'll continue to grow and yeah, be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment on the video, whether it's good or bad, whether it's give me positive feedback if possible, be greatly appreciated, appreciate even if it's negative feedback, it's okay. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy your day. And stay blessed, boys.